to show you something. Where we'll clearly understand what he's what he's talking about. We're gonna look at this and we'll find this over there in Amos chapter five. We'll pick it up at verse twenty one. He told us this. He says, I hate the ark. He hated. I despise your feast days. See, in these feast days is what all of us out there doing now. We sit there trying to find, oh, when when is the feast days? When is this day? We need to know this day. Those are days for instructions and wisdom to be given. And you sitting there wondering about what we want to do. We more worried about partying than sitting there to try to find out what the word of God is. This is our problem. This is the problem that we have within all Hebrews, all Israel. We, we, well, I just trying to find out when is the feast day. Why are you trying to worry out when the, when the party is? Go down to New Orleans. They have Mardi Gras once a year. Go down there. Trying to worry about things and we trying to take care of God's business. And he said, he despised our feast days. The days we're supposed to be given instruction and our wisdom. And what we have done, we have created our own. And he says even more, he says including, tells you this, including I will not smell your solemn assembly. When they smell them, they stink. Your solemn assembly, they, they stink. I'm going to show you what some stuff is. I want to pull up a little bit more. I'm going to pull up a little bit more. We're going to look at the law. We're going to look at a little bit more here in Deuteronomy chapter 16. We're going to look at verse 8. Now, he set this up. He set this up. And Moses is explaining this to us so we can get it. It says, six days shall thou eat unleavened bread. Purified knowledge. So that same solemn that you see over there, that's sacred. That's why he's saying that. I will not smell your sacred, your holy assemblies. If you have a holy assembly, I won't smell it. It's stink. That's all he's telling you right up front. And we'll sit there and, and still try to jab it down this throat. The day of rest. Christ also rested on the seventh day from all his work that he created. And he tells you this over here in, in Deuteronomy. He says, six days shall thou eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly, a holy, sacred assembly to the Spirit of thy God. No, that's not a good day for me. I got to go do this. So I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to do it on Sunday. smell it, you stink. We sit and crawling up in these places and we stink. He's telling us right up front what is not right. In fact, let's, let's, look at a little, let's get a little bit more. Let's get some more. We're going to go to Genesis chapter 2. <clears throat> We're going to pick it up at verse 3. We're going to pick it up at verse 3. And I want you to see this closely. He says that he says, and God bless. <laughs> Boy, I'm, t- I'm talking about we to show you how we are. We can't we can't we can't stay out of our own trouble. Same thing, my brother. He said he, he don't like, it, but he that's my brother. Me and him, we, we was riding together. We got in trouble together. Sitting there calling ourselves, we're going to cut the monkey because we want the certain kind of cereal we want to get. We're going to cut the monkey in the store. My, my mom had another problem with us. He said right there, and, and, and we got our butt whooping right there. And then told us, shut up! Shut up! We got to close our mouth and snot running all out our, all, all out our nose. We couldn't cry no more with our mouths open people walking by. Well, next time y'all be good. Y'all be good. 
what he did. On the seventh day, he 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 blessed the seventh day. He gave he gave knowledge on the seventh day and sanctified it. He separated it. Because 